Hello everyone, this is Diane. I had mentioned in a previous video, which um, would have aired last week, um, that I was going to go through some magazines and show you what I would look for as I harvest magazines for glue book and collage images. Um, I'm filming this the same day that I... It's uh, Tuesday of <laughs> last week. I'm going to let this be published while I'm away. So, I my, my desk is a mess because I've been making ephemera. So, I think what I'll do is start with my vintage magazine and look for some images that I can actually use in these homemakers journals. And I'll pull out whatever else I might use. This is a 1953 Better Homes and Gardens magazine. that I got at a flea market. And these images are really pretty. I love the vintage colors. So I might cut those out. I'm not gonna do it right now. So there's so much in these magazines that I would take. I would cut out this image and make it into a tuck spot on the edge of a page. <coughs> oh, these old books get to me, but I love old books. And I might even could use this on a spread, on a center spread, and cut it in half and have it be a pocket on both sides of the spread. Any of <clears throat> coupons like that, they're fun to use from vintage books. I'm going to look for some color pages, though. I would use this and uh, possibly the gladiola. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, that might be fun. This guy just casually leaning on his counter. Talking on the phone. So it's talking about phone jack being as fundamental as electric outlets. It's right next to the outlet right there. A lot of homes don't even use phone jacks anymore because we just use our cell phones. I always like a floor plan like that. Those are fun. Images of ladies I like to use. But I'm going to flip through. These doggies would be cute. You see the doggies? Um, just to look for some color images. So these are nice color images. I think the older ones, like the 53, don't have as many color. There are some coming up. But I would cut those out and use them with the pretty colored towels. Of course, there's a Van Gogh from an advertisement and also the coupon that you could clip out and use. We've got more cars, and they're, they're usually colorful, the pictures of the cars. We've got some toy cars here. In this picture of the family playing with their toys that they got at Woolworths. So this would be really cute. I love that. I'm going to take that out right now. I would cut her out and glue her to some cardstock and make her into a pocket or a tag in a big journal. She would be an adorable tag. Look at the beautiful morning glories. So this I could make a paper clip out of. We've got more automobiles. There's a lady posing in her car while her husband takes a picture. That's a nice colorful picture of a woman and her daughter in a kitchen advertising the floor. It's got a bucking bronco on the floor, which is kind of strange. Look at that beautiful banquette setting. 
seating with a tiny, tiny table. Not very practical. Oh, there's Doris Day with her camera. That's beautiful. I would use that. So I could maybe use some of these in these journals. If I'm not cutting up Doris Day. Oh, I would have to cut Doris Day. Maybe I could use some of the lower ones. There's um, wallpaper and paint. I might cut that out and use it. There's a lot of colorful pictures here. Any of those would work. And some that are nice on front and back, I could use as a full page in the journal. But being an old book, I would reinforce wherever I have to fold it. I would reinforce it with a strip of paper. This would be a wonderful page. It's got the beautiful roses on one side and this lovely interior on the other side. Look at that page. This is such a big book, it's hard to keep it in. So lots of um, <clears throat> floor plans to make funny, funny, fun little ephemera pieces. Let me get through all the home building. Here we go. Some, just I don't understand how the colors look so different from these images to today's images. <clears throat> but any of these food images would be fun to cut out. Look at that. Beautiful colors. You could cut out this little plate of dessert and have a circle that you could make ephemera with. These are beautiful pages. The texture feels different on these pages too. You can cut out the recipes and just use the recipes. These would be fun to cut out that shape and make a tuck spot or this shape and make a cute little tag to put in a pocket. I cut out things like this to make paper clips, but look at this. That is fun. So I would probably cut all around this. Oops, I'm sorry. I would cut all around this and make it into a pocket. This page is already cut out. It's not torn, it was cut. So you could make a long tag with this recipe with the with a pretty pink background. Cut this out and use it. Ooh, that would be really fun too. Hmm. Well, I'd rather have this than the pie, and I would still have would I still have the recipe? No, this would cut into the recipe part. So you have to make choices sometimes. There's another can that I could make a paper clip out of. And there's another one. And a V8. You could make a tag with that V8 glass and use this. Cut it to the length you need it because that's pretty long, but make a side pocket with that. What I'm looking for are some smiling ladies like her. So I will have to lose my Del Monte can so I can have this smiling lady. Ooh, I just sold something <laughs> in my Etsy shop. That always scares me. That noise scares me. But then it makes me smile. That's a fun image right there. Oh, there's two of them. And the cake. Put that out and use it. So much. There's so much to use in these books. Look at that. Beautiful tuck spot right there. 
And then don't forget to look at the words, especially in the older books. The font, the fonts might be really fun. Like the look at that font. Promise you'll taste the nifty new Ritz. Remember, nothing tastes as good as Ritz, but Ritz. So you could cut out the whole phrase just you know to add it into your journal, but you could cut out words like promise and nifty. I, I like the word nifty. No such thing as an everyday meal. Sorry, I turned my the sound off for the first video I did, and then I turned it back on. Um, so, no such thing. You could use that for something. Wesson oil, flour, packages. Cut those out. This fryer this hand, you could cut out the donut and put something else in her hand if you found something the right size. Oh, now that's fun. <laughs> the Jolly Green Giant. He's cute. Mom calls me the Hydrox Kid. Lots and lots of images to make paper clips. fruit cocktail. Alright, here's another smiling lady. I can use her too because they're on opposite sides. So I would cut her out with her image in the bowl. Isn't that cute? And I can still have her but I can't have that wonderful bottle of Coke. That's a beautiful image. But I want my smiling lady more. And then when you get toward the back, you have a lot of advertisements really fun vintage advertisements. Oh, these are nice. I'm showing what I would cut out if I was actually harvesting the book, but all I'm pulling out are things I want to use for the homemaker's journals that I'm making. that one. The in insides of a car. <laughs> That's fun. That might be a fun thing to use in a journal. There's some cats and a dog. So I think you get the idea of what kinds of things I would cut out of. I would cut her out of a vintage magazine. I would cut her out. And a lot of the advertisements I would cut out. different. That's beautiful. Just make a beautiful little tuck spot out of that. Let's move on to one of the modern magazines. I All I have for magazines right now are the ones I got free at the library. So I have HGTV. I have several issues of that. I have L Decor. And I have Garden Gate. So let's start with HGTV. I love the door. So I would cut that out and then try to um, embellish, 
covering up the little things that are in front of the door. So this is the third issue that I have torn apart and so far every issue has had a different door on the front. So that's a fun feature. Let's see what's on the back. And also keep looking for words that you would use. Words and phrases. Impress yourself. You could use those words together or separately. Reimagined, life reimagined, or the whole phrase, the blueprint to life reimagined. I'm going to cut that out because sometimes when I take the page out, when I go back to actually cut the images out. I'm like, I don't know what I cut that page out for. So I just cut them out right then and there. Um, I saw this ad in a different magazine and I just cut out those numbers and that paintbrush to use in a glue book. And this is kind of interesting. This lady who's standing in a barrel and then there's one there and one there. I don't really get the point. Never too organized. But see, there's the little dolls there. Um, oh, look at that. That would be beautiful. I would cut that out and use it. But I think that's cute. This would make a fun thing to cut out and put in a, in a glue book. And so would that. I like to cut out images of rugs to use as a little background piece, even if they're small. I always cut out the paint colors on if they're in a circle, if they don't have words on them. And this would be a fun background too, this beautiful blue fireplace. There's a circle here, so I can cut out all of these circles because of where they're placed on the page, and I would cut out that fireplace. That's a nice phrase, do beautiful work. And then some more of the circles. Those owls are cute. You could cut out the word change transform, inspiration. These little hangings would be cute. out things like this mirror. Any of these framed pieces that you like. Not all who wander are lost. Let the sun shine in. Any of those would be fun because they're already framed out for you. And look at them all. These are fun. This ottoman would be fun to put in a glue book and then stand a figure or something on top of it. For example, you could cut that deer out and put it on there. Or just a little person standing there. It's fun to cut out chairs sometimes and put something in the chair. This would also be a good stand, a little pedestal for somebody. So I'm going to tear those pages out so I can cut those elements out later. There's another pedestal. This hand. I like a lot of things on this page. I like the table, 
the lamp, the vase, the chair. Could even use the pillows as a little filler in the background behind something. There's a headboard that would be a good background. This pillow would be fun. And the mirror. So when you get a page full of separate elements like that, they're really great. Just think about how you could use them. And you could turn them upside down too. I could put the table upside down like that and put something on top of it, put something in here. So uh, think about how you can use it if you turn it a different way. If you turn this on its side, it would be entirely different. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I'm thinking glue books and collage books for these elements. Look at that. That's interesting. That would make for a very interesting glue book page, wouldn't it? But whatever it is that you love, that you love to look at, would make you smile when you turn the page. Maybe the latter would be cute to use in an element for collage. That car would be fun. Look at that. That's pretty. This is a pretty background. You could cut the leaves out. These leaves and some of these leaves. Aww. Or you could cut the puppy out. These chairs would be fun to cut out and use. We've got some more individual pieces we can use. This rug would be a wonderful background. I have to cut that out and see if I can transpose that onto a model's face. That would be fun. See, I keep using the word fun because glue books are fun. This is a beautiful background piece right there. stuff that you can cut out. Look at that fun chair. And the it's a figurine that looks like a balloon dog. I've got to add that to a glue book. Because it made me smile. And I want this. That's pretty. This part of the lamp could be a cap. Put it on someone's head in your collage or your glue book. This could be a sunburst behind someone's head. So think about different ways you can use things. So here we have a bunch of placemats so any of those would be good. I would cut this out if the napkin wasn't covering it, but you could use the other part of it. Yeah. Could put this behind someone's head. This 
Sometimes if you just like the letters, but you don't want the words, you can take the letter separately and spell something else. I like those letters and I like the colors. And I do have an envelope of letters so I could spell things. I cut these characters out from a different magazine. I thought they were cute. Oh, the mixer. I love that. And the rolling pin. They look retro. So maybe I'll use them in my journals. Oh, I just cut off the tip of that. The thing with this, things like this, is you have to realize that you're going to see the white through there because I am definitely not going to cut all those holes out but that is a really fun piece. The bottles of tea would be fun to use. Any bottles, perfume bottles, coca-cola, any of those are fun. Now this would be great if there wasn't writing all over them. I just love the circles of paint. Okay, this must be a preview of their new magazine. So if you like Jonathan and Drew, you could cut out all of those circles and put them in your blue book. I don't have anything against Jonathan and Drew, but I don't want them in their bathrobes in my glue book. I used to, I watched their show for a season or so. They're very good at what they do. Okay, that is HGTV. Let's look at Garden Gate. Try to go a little bit faster. Of course you're going to find beautiful floral images. This is a pretty watercolor. Look at these little ones. And they have numbers. These are the contents pages. This is the contents page, so it has the page number where you'd find those. But you could either cut that off or put something over it. There's a little B. I love the uh, illustrations that aren't photographs. This one's pretty. All of these, of course, and then these little ones you could add to an embellishment somehow. The circles, I like to cut out the circles. And just like the floor plans, I like the garden pl the garden plans. These are beautiful. Look at all the beautiful flowers you can cut out of this. You could use this as a whole page in the journal. Yeah, there's, I, I would cut something out on every page. There's another little garden plan that would be fun on a tag. There's another one there. This might be fun to actually cut around that curve of the wall just to make it more interesting. Little ones, and we got a, a beautiful painting there. Just beautiful, beautiful pictures in these magazines. There's a robin. Oh wow, Baltimore Oriole. Beautiful. Bluebird. Chickadee. A goldfinch. So, birds and flowers in this book.
That section of birds, I think, was only for subscribers because it said special members section. So you, I didn't pull anything out of this, but you could see there's a lot in there that I will go back and pull out. Lastly, we have L Decor. Um, I've had home decorating magazines before, and I used a lot more of them. Now this would be a good background right there. Or just take the whole thing and just you just need something to cover that little word. And this part would be a good background. This would be pretty to cut out to use those pieces. Um, yeah, I've used more. There were more usable things. I cut this out in one that I already cut out. This and this. But this does have some usable things in it too. And it was free. This lady on a hook. Those, the Kohler ads are really great. They always have something interesting. This is pretty. That's beautiful. All right, here's a good page. You could use this as a big, bigger background and then use these. For my little mini um, book that I did collages in, I used th these kind of things a lot. And they didn't cover the whole page, but it covered part of it and then I could fill in. This would be a great pedestal. Pull that out right now. This would be a good background. All that black and gray. I don't have any, oh that's pretty, I would cut that out, that one. I don't have any fashion magazines because I have plenty of images that I've cut from fashion magazines and I haven't been using them. I would cut her out probably. I haven't been doing a lot of glue booking, but I want to remedy that. Um, but I do want to show you quickly what I have, there's a good background to put something brighter on top of. I want to show you what I have taken from fashion magazines since I don't have one to pull apart for you. I'm passing by things that I would probably pull out but I've already talked about similar items so like that would be really fun to do something with. You could turn it the other way or keep it that way. But again, with decorating magazines, uh, a lot of times they will have uh, rugs, just a picture of a rug that you could buy, you could cut that out, um, paint samples, um, wallpaper, things like that. This magazine doesn't have a lot of those things. So, let me show you what I cut out of fashion magazines and others. So I have my drawers right here. This is just from all kinds of, sorry, all kinds of magazines and it's words and phrases. Sunny and bright. Is it still? So you could add something to that. True colors. Maybe I just wanted the letters to cut out and use. The Good Place. Beat Yesterday. My Father's Way. Oh, Their Taste in... No, I don't think it was that one. So lots and lots of phrases in here. Um, Apparently this is not what I thought it was because it says ladies on the drawer and I thought I was going to show you some ladies. Here I have more phrases. I'm not sure where I put my ladies. Um, so bigger and then 
I actually took the time at one point to divide up my words. Passive verbs, quotes, adjectives and adverbs, numbers, and letters. So those were individual letters that I could spell things with. And this says small images, but okay. I When I moved, I narrowed things down and I sold envelopes full of some of this stuff. So this is where I put my ladies. I just moved them down to this drawer. And because my drawer of ladies was full to the brim. So anyway, and then I have, it says small images. I have background pieces. These are cut from um, decorating magazines. So I have all my background images in there and then the small images that I can use in my little books, my little glue books. Looking at all these really wants me, wants me to, makes me want to get out my glue book and my glue stick. So these are some, this is from Vogue. You can get some really funky images in the in the fashion magazines, especially the spring and the fall fashion issues. Look at that, it's a Mad Hatter tea party. She would be good in a spread. And her, I just look for the interesting ones. I don't want the ones that are just looking at the camera like they're so bored they don't know what to do. This was just interesting. So some faces I pull out. This one I could do some fun things with. This one's a girl in, in motion. I think she was bowling a perfume bottle. <laughs> So anything, as you're going through the fashion magazine, anything that strikes you, she is just staring at the camera with no smile, but I did like the look of her and I like the background. And that one also. Some of the ads. This would be uh, cute with a, a cute caption. I think that's Jennifer Garner. Maybe. Nope. Rosemary DeWitt. Never heard of her. I see this model a lot in the Vogue magazines. Not that I buy a lot of Vogue. Once in a while I buy the fall issue, but I haven't in a few years because I have all these images to use. She might be good in my homemaker magazines for her journals. This is a good one for an art journal page when you're feeling stressed. So anyway, I think you get the idea. I've got background pages. I had to mix everything up in here in this drawer because I had to make room for stuff when I moved. I had to get rid of some of my containers. This might be from Fairy Magazine. I bought a couple issues of that. Yeah, Fairy Mag. Just pretty images. She's interesting. These were interesting with the reflective images. There were a few. Just a giant face that I could do stuff with. This is also from Fairy Magazine. So if you look at the magazines, if you're willing to spend, a magazine like Fairy Magazine was expensive, but you get a lot of images out of it, and you don't need to buy every issue. This one is fun. Just buy one and get a lot of images, and then look for free ones, free magazines, or really cheap ones. Salvation Army, I think, charges 79 cents per magazine, but I don't usually get them there. I have gotten some that were good ones. Um, so I guess that's all I'm going to show you. Oh, wait. There is one more thing I want to show you. I have these baskets <clears throat> that I get out when I'm using my glue book and collage book. This little thing has light, little tiny words. So I can condense what I just showed you with some of this stuff. This one has bigger 
like phrases and stuff. And then these baskets are loosely organized into sizes, basically. So if I, I know if I need something small to fit in this space, I can look in the small one. But they're not very organized right now because look at this one. I just thought this was fun. I cut cut out whatever was... I just liked those gloves and that purse, and I cut everything else out away from it. Um, I've been cutting things out and then just sticking them in a basket so they're not very organized. This one is more like backgrounds. This one is people, small enough to fit in the basket. I even put this photograph in there because I thought it would be fun in a collage. And this one is black and white mostly. Oh no, it's bigger pieces. I think it's like miscellaneous. And this is Trader Joe's images and these are little pieces and uh, circles I think this was the circles basket all right so like it's kind of a mess so I need to organize it better but I just wanted to show you what kinds of things I would cut out of magazines I hope it was helpful let me know if you have any questions and please I would really like to know this was a viewers suggestion of going through magazines and harvesting so if you have a suggestion or a question, maybe I could do a video on that. No promises, but let me know what questions you would like answered or what videos you would like to see. If I get enough questions, maybe I'll do a uh, question and answer video that you can I can talk while I'm crafting or something like that. All right. That's it for now. I'm going to get back to work on my homemaker's journals, and I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.